This is the third video in this introduction to uh, MathCAD. And uh, so we just talked about the, the green squiggly line that shows warning. Um, and so let me just talk a little bit more about units. So if you had, suppose we had V, I'll put period, and then X, and then the, um, the full column, which gives us that value, and I'm going to put in 60 times MPH, right? And so now we type F, uh, V, uh, X, and I should, I should mention too that MathCAD is case sensitive, so um, it does depend on whether or not you use capitals or not. Uh, so now if I put in equals, it gives me that value. So that's the 60 miles per hour in meters per second, because remember, we, um, we set the units to SI units. So now if I go over to this little black dot here and put in MPH and hit return, I get back miles per hour. Um, so I could also put in feet per second, right? And then 60 miles per hour is the same speed as 88 feet per second. So MathCAD uh, does take, keep track of the units, which is, is really great. Uh, so if you get some answer in some units and you want to get the value, another value in some other units, um, you know, it's very easy to uh, just get the other units that you want. Just You can just uh, click on these units and suppose we want inches per second, right? Well, 88 times 12 gives you the 1,056 inches per second. So so that's pretty useful. Let's talk a little bit more about graphing. So um, suppose if you want to graph sine of x, for instance, sine x, you can just put that in and then do the shift, the at sign. And if I plot that versus x, get that plot. And I can click over here and just put a comma and add another function. So maybe that would be cosine of x. So we can plot multiple functions on a graph. And again, um, if I double click on this, we can go to the traces. Maybe I want that second one to also be, whoops, solid. And increase the weight on those. And um, maybe go again, go to crossed. Uh, try to do equal scales, and now you can see we got we have this kind of plot right here. And <clears throat> okay, so and you can change you can add a title and and put in a legend and whatnot, but uh, we can also change these uh, the values here. So I want that to be five. Okay, so it's it's uh, has pretty good graphing capability. So in this case, uh, both these functions were a function of x. Suppose we had a parametric function. So in a two-dimensional parametric function, um, you'll have both your your horizontal and vertical components will be a function of a sing single variable. So like for instance, a circle. So um, if in a circle, if we said x of t and made that cosine t, and then, whoops, and make this sine of t, and then we did, um, y of t and did the at sign. And then down here, we'll put in x of t. And I'm going to have to stop here and pick up with the next video.